Hello, Sagittarius viewers. Let's look into what your person is thinking, feeling, uh, any action they might be taking towards you over the next couple of weeks, and just see what's going on with your path as well. I know this this group of Sagittarius is that I that I channel. I keep getting um, this energy that your person has been working through their commitment issues, like they've had a lot of fears regarding your connection, but they've been really, I did a couple videos on, you know, why they did the things that they did, you know, and they're being very introspective and, and really working on their commitment issues and working on their fears and trying to open themselves up more. I think they had a lot of drastic life changes that just kind of forced them to really think about where they want to see themselves in the next five or 10 years, you know, and they, they are realizing that it's not beneficial in the long term for them not to ever commit to anything. They're starting to want to plant roots somewhere. They're starting to want that that family, that commitment, that um, sense of belonging and security and that consistency. You know, they haven't been able to have that consistency for a long time because they just refuse to commit to anything in their life. And this could go for jobs too, like switching jobs frequently relationships just not being able to stay stuck stay in one place and they're they're really rethinking their lives they they have been especially a lot this past year just rethinking who they are and what they want and and they're really wanting to just kind of settle down more they're really wanting to to have something that's just consistent in their life you know i think they've gone through a lot of life changes this year that have really kind of opened their eyes so let's see what's going on. Let's start out with what's going on with you, with your, just in general, with your energy. What do we need to know about you? And then we'll look more into them. What do we need to know about you? Ooh, okay. <laughs> that just popped out. Love offer and commitment. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Ooh, hello. You've got a lot of good energy here. Spying, make your move, green light. We've got open and honest communication. Ooh, okay, come in. <laughs> We've got, see, we have these cards go together, I think. Chaser and chasey, power struggle, fear of commitment. Then we have loyalty and stability. So someone really is changing their ways here. We've got loyalty, stability, vows after fear of commitment. We have love offer and commitment here. See, fear of commitment, and then we have the actual commitment here. And then we have magic, manifestation, power, and intention. So they could have, there was a message that took place or is about to take place. I think for most of you, it already took place. So they could have been spying on you and they wanted to reach out and make a move, but they're so prideful and stubborn that like they sent you some kind of message, but maybe they were just weren't fully willing to let go of their ego. So they made it into like this chaser chasey game, like this power struggle card that we have here. It's like they sent you a message, but they kind of half-assed it. Like, like they wanted to talk to you and they missed you, but they weren't willing to admit that. They weren't willing to just say, hey, I messed up. I miss you. You know, let's talk. Can we figure this out? Can we work this out somehow? So they pretty much just came in and and blamed you or they messaged you about something random that has nothing to do with anything and you got offended like why are you messaging me about that like seriously that's what you have to say to me after all this time um it's that kind of energy for the majority of the of you though i think you probably messaged them first um i think that maybe they were spying on you i feel like they were spying on your social media or if you guys like know each other outside of of social media like at work or just in some location like if they live around you like a neighbor in your apartment complex or just any, anything like that just the energy of spying basically like for most of you it's probably just them watching you on your social media maybe liking your posts just you kind of felt them you just felt their energy you felt them maybe you were receiving some synchronicities 
you know, channeling them through, through songs, through, um, through movies, even just anything of that sort. It's like you were just feeling their energy. You could feel them watching you, spying on you. You could feel their energy come back into your life. You could feel them wanting to know what was going on with you. And so you made this move and you communicated with them. You were open and honest and they just, because of their fear of commitment, they just turned it into a power struggle. Because it's like you were so real with them in your message, I think. Like you told them how you felt or you maybe were just honest. Like you, like you said, hey, you did this in the past and it wasn't okay with me. Like we need to, you know, you need to figure that out. You can't treat me like that. You can't, like you set boundaries or you just... You did something that was very honest and very open and real with them, like very vulnerable. And that kind of vulnerability just like scared them and they made it a power struggle. You know, they didn't really fully hear the feelings behind what you were saying. Like, I don't I don't think that they understood that it was pain you were expressing. I think they probably saw it as like anger or they saw it as them being blamed or they just saw it as like, oh, wow, this person wants to tie me down. They want me to commit and they're, you know, they haven't worked through their fears of commitment really, not fully. I mean, they've been working on it, but they haven't fully like gotten past the, those fears yet. They're, it's still something that they're actively working on, you know, especially deep seated, deep rooted commitment issues like they have. Those take some, those can take some time to work through, I think for sure. But yeah, it's like someone sent, sent, they either sent you a message or you sent them a message and there was this open, honest communication, but it's like you guys weren't communicating well. It's like one person was being open and honest and vulnerable and one person was just hearing what they want to hear and just um, ignoring the emotion and energy behind the words and just fixating on little, little things. It's like you guys trigger your, ins you trigger each other's insecurities, you know? It's like you guys are usually on the same page, but I think sometimes you guys feel like you're like attacking each other when it's like not necessary, if that makes sense. It's like you trigger their insecurities, they trigger your insecurities. So it's almost like they like overanalyze too. It's like you might say something and you could say like, hey, I love you. I think you're amazing. I think you're the best. Just please, you do this one. You do this one little thing. Please work on that and get better at that. And they'll just focus on that one little thing that you said and be like, "Oh my God, she thinks I'm horrible. Screw her. I hate her." Like just that kind of energy where they're just so pessimistic and they overanalyze so much. Um, and it's also just the fear of commitment. It's it's not just picking up. I mean, for some of you, they might have picked up some anger in your words, but for for a lot of them, it's just. They, they turned it into a power struggle when it didn't need to be because if it wasn't a power struggle, they would have to accept that you're vulnerable with them and that you love them and they'd have to open their heart in return. So instead, they decided to run and sabotage and stick with their fear of commitment and, um, and just get defensive and just turn it into a power struggle instead of, you know, instead of committing. I think they felt so vulnerable with your message too that they turned it into a power struggle because it's like they didn't like how vulnerable and open they felt like it was just so real and it caught them off guard and so they just kind of like I guess they weren't expecting it you know it's like they just kind of sabotaged it but I do get the sense that you planted some seeds here you really planted some powerful seeds so I feel like either you guys have just messaged each other or you're about to message this person and it's just saying like if there is an argument or if you guys do you know go your separate ways for a while you still planted some really powerful seeds there like right now I think that they just looked at your message and they're like oh wow like he or she is blaming me for this or they they're trying to control me. They're trying to t tie me down. They're trying to do this or that. I think that in their lonely moments, they're going to go back and reread your message and they're going to finally see the pain and the emotion behind your message. They're going to try to, they're, they're, they need, they have some communication issues that they need to work through too. And I think they're going to go back and reread your message again and again, and they're going to look at it 
and they're going to realize that you are trying to communicate love. You are trying to work through things with them. You are trying to, you know, get on the same page with them. You were, you were, you weren't attacking them. You, you know what I mean? Like they're, they are going to reread the message. They really, they really are. That's what I feel. And I think as they come, because they're leveling up right now, they're they're in this ascension process right now. They're really finding themselves right now and figuring out who they are and what they want. And once they really come into this new perspective that their guides are pushing them into, they're going to get into this this loyal, stable energy where they're going to want to come back in and make promises to you. They're going to understand they're going to see all the things that you saw in the relationship that they just weren't able to see before. They're going to see all the potential that you saw that they couldn't see before because of their commitment issues. They're going to realize what they have in front of them. They're going to try to push past their fear. They're going to realize that you guys were just tr triggering each other's insecurities, but on a very deep, real soul level, this is true love that you guys have here. You know, it's just that there's pain and damage there that needs to be worked through there's some ego issues that need to be worked through and some insecurities on both ends that need to be worked through but on a soul level like on a very concrete deep level this is true love this is a soulmate this is somebody that you have past lives with it could even be a twin flame for some of you so i do see them coming back around you know getting into this loyal stable energy once they find themselves and wanting to come back around so i think it's just kind of saying like if you send a message and you got a bad result like you got ignored or it turned into an argument or if you're about to send a message and it doesn't go how you want it like just know that you did plant seeds though it is the message no matter what they say the message is something that they're going to come back and look at and reread from a higher per once they're in a higher perspective um and especially in their like their lonely moments they're going to kind of like be more kind of broken open is what i feel like they're going to get into this lonely kind of mentality and they're going to be broken open and they're going to be more vulnerable and because their guides are pushing them to be more vulnerable in general you know like they can't they think they can just control everything around them and they're going to learn the hard way this person is stubborn so they're going to learn the hard way that no they can't control everything and everyone around them and they're going to be broken up open and they're going to be lonely and they're going to be vulnerable and they're going to remember that you were their rock their safe space and they're going to go back and look at those messages and they're really going to rethink everything and they're really going to start re understanding they're going to look at the message just from a different perspective. They're going to be like, oh, he or she was actually communicating pain. They're communicating love. They were communicating a desire to be there for me, to work through things with me. And I just didn't see it because I was so stuck in my ways and in my commitment issues. And they're going to feel stupid for sure. Um, and they're going to want to come back in with this loyalty and stability and vows. You know, this this group, they have been working on their commitment issues, especially the past few months or so. Like, since I've started channeling, I keep getting that consistent energy of just regret, of, of working through their commitment issues, of, um, of wanting to do right by you but not really knowing how. Like they are finally embracing and realizing that they do want stability, that they do want a family, that they do want something consistent in their lives. I think they've really been broken open the past year and their guides are going to continue to just break them open and get them to be vulnerable and get them to stop being so stubborn. I think they had to go off and do their own thing for a while, but I think they're going to come back around and realize that the grass wasn't actually greener on the other side of the fence. I think they really are working on being a more empathetic, more humble person and, and letting go of their pride and stubbornness. I mean, I think they have been thinking about commitment and really thinking long term, especially as they get older. I think they're starting to think like, OK, I don't really want to die alone. Like I do want something. It's like I don't think they've ever had anything truly consistent and solid in their lives, you know, or at least not for a long time because they just don't commit to anything. And now they're like they're wanting that consistency and stability, but it still scares them at the same time. So I think this message just happened so abruptly that they were like, like they were telling the universe, like, I'm ready for something stable in my life. I'm ready for some kind of commitment. But then when it came down to it, it scared them. It's like, oh, wait a minute. And they like went back and hung on to those control issues they have. But, but again, 
even if they didn't respond well or even if you're about to write a message and you're feeling drawn to write a message and they don't respond well or they ghost you or whatever it's it's saying like you did plant seeds they are going to come back and look at this message and they are going to eventually they are working through their commitment issues i really do feel that but they have very deep rooted commitment issues and so it takes a while it's a process and their guides are working with them on it but i do see them coming back around you know wanting to make a vow to you wanting to to offer you loyalty and stability that they weren't able to offer you before you know coming back around eventually with this love offer this commitment but do you want it because you're they're coming back around because you're in you're getting into your power you know, you're, you're putting the intentions out in the universe for true love. And when you put that intention out, a lot of times, sometimes your exes come back around because they they feel that energy of just you opening yourself up to love, opening your heart. And so like a lot of sometimes exes come back around too. And you're just getting into your power. You're getting to this, this phase where you can manifest the life you want. Like you're just pure magic. And you know, do you want this? Because I think that you can have, you can have this, I'm pretty sure, but you could also have somebody else who might be more stable and more committed. Um, someone who just, I don't know, there's a lot to work through with this person, I feel, if you if you guys do end up going that route. I think it's your choice. I think, again, you're just coming into your power, so the world is your oyster, and you're going to be able to have what you want. Um, so yes, I do see this person eventually coming back around with a love offer. I don't know for sure if you're going to want it when it comes back around, though. Because this could be months or even years down the line. I don't know how far this is I, is going to be down the line. I think it's different for everybody. But I think that you're going to be a different person when this... I think you're changing now. And I think you're going to be even more different when this comes back around. And it's like, are you still going to want this? Are you still going to entertain this? Or are you going to be like, screw you. You ghosted me. And you hurt me. And you made everything a power struggle. And you made everything about you. Or are you, you know... Like, are you going to work through this or are you going to go on to something new? Because I see you coming to like a crossroads in your life where you're going to have a couple different options. So yes, it's a soulmate, but you have multiple soulmates in your life. So you're going to have options. You really, you're, you're coming, you're, you're manifesting the love. You've been planting the seeds. So you're manifesting the love in the life that you want. So you're going to have options of partners to choose from. So I don't know. Some of you are going to go back and, and maybe work through this with this person. Maybe there is potential there, possibly, with this person for it to go somewhere um, eventually, once they get through all this crap that they're going through and really change themselves. But, you know, it's also possible that you're going to meet somebody else and that you're not going to want this anymore. There's that potential there, too, that... Um, because it's like this person, you're coming into your power and this person from the past is going to feel it. They're going to feel your magic and your power and your just that god or goddess energy. Um, just you being your true self. Like just your pure, raw, creative, unleashed energy. They're going to feel that and it's going to draw them back in at a certain point. You know, once they've kind of figured themselves out a little bit more and they've gotten to a more loyal stable point their guides are really breaking them open right now it's been a process with this person for sure but yeah they're gonna notice how just how seductive you are how magical you are but it's like I don't know it's it's like it's it's frustrating at the same time because it's like if they don't want you when you're at your worst do they really deserve you when you're at your best but at the same time, I know that they have a lot of shit that they have to work through. They do have a lot of commitment issues that are deep-rooted in fear, in childhood abandonment issues, just all kinds of crap that they're working through right now. Um, and it is definitely a process. It is a struggle. I'm just saying, yes, I do feel this person coming back around, but I don't know. Some of you are going to want it. Some of you aren't going to want it when they come back around. <laughs> the bottom of the deck. True love, potential life partner. <laughs> I think you got multiple potential life partners, though, coming in. So let's get some final messages. I created both these decks. So if you're, I don't have my shop page up right now. Um, I haven't started it yet. But if you're interested in buying either of these decks, just send me an email. Also, if you're interested in, in you know, me looking deeper into your situation, figuring out, we're just, just going deeper into this. 
um, I can do that too. My reading prices are below and my email address is below. And if this resonates, go ahead and subscribe to me as well. I'm going to be doing these readings more and more frequently. Yeah, you came on strong and I wasn't ready for it. So again, with the commitment issues, I mean, yes, they're working through it. But I mean, by the time they come back around, you might be just be so fed up with the history you have with this person that you might not even entertain it. I love you. They do love you despite how it seems. I think about you all the time. The nostalgia hurts deeply. So yeah, there is a desire. There is like this familiarity between you guys, this energy there, this past energy. You know, they do think about you. They just don't let you know it. I've been spying on you. I observe and notice every little thing about you. I read your social media posts. So yeah, they might still be spying even if you guys aren't talking. I often think about the last night we saw each other. So think about the details of the last night you guys saw each other. Was there, was it just really special? Like you guys were really close or was it, was there something you said or did? Or was there like a certain, some like a phrase or a certain something that you said that might've stuck with them that they're still thinking about? I want to be your hero, your warrior, your protector, and your everything. You bring out that side of me. So yeah, they really are working on themselves and wanting to do right by you and wanting to be better for you. My guides constantly remind me of you. I escaped, I can't escape the synchronicity. Your name comes up in conversation. So yeah, I think some of you kind of felt this energy come back around and you got excited and it just it wasn't quite the right timing. I think the message just came came in really suddenly for them. And it's like you are feeling like if you're energetically feeling them working on their commitment issues, like that's that's accurate. That's true. That's what they, they really are working on them. But it's like just reading that message, it all became real so quickly for them where they kind of went back and and. Grasped back, on, grasped back onto those commitment issues that they had, if that makes any sense, you know? It was like they were riding the bike and they're all they're all d doing it. They're excited. They're happy. And then you take the training rolls off and they panic and they fall off, you know? It's kind of like that kind of energy where it was like too much too soon. Um, but again, you planted seeds. So again, they're going to come back and they're going to reread those messages and you know, they are going to keep working on themselves. And I do eventually see them coming back in with a love offer, you know, especially as you're getting into your power and you're focusing on yourself and you're just becoming this magical man or magical woman that's that's manifesting the life that they want. They're going to feel that energy because you have such a strong soulmate connection. You guys can telepathically communicate. And when you're focusing on yourself and you're just doing your thing and you're just your true self, they're going to feel that energy and it's going to pull them back in. And they're going to come back with this love offer. So that's where we're at now. Um, I hope it resonates. Um, hit the like button, share, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.